Hello and welcome to this video. And today I'm going to show you all how to play the Bionicle Quest for the Mask TCG. Bionicle Quest for the Mask is a two player trading card game released in 2001 and published by Upkick and licensed by Lego. For ease of following along, we will divide this how to play video into two parts. Part 1 Basic Rules and Correct Types. Part 2 Demo Test Run. Basic rule. At the beginning of each game, decide who's who and gather the corresponding to and draw a great mask card. If you, for some reason, want to be in the same Toa, settle the dispute with a lengthy with a rant discussion. Roll or die. A fox only final destination mini match. Or do rock, paper, scissors to decide who will be who. After deciding which Toa you all should be, aka forcing you on your opponent, it's time to decide who starts. But wait, we are forgetting something, aren't we? Oof. Setup. To set up the game, start with making sure everyone has the cards they need for their Toa. Place the included playmat featuring this beautiful mat in VR to either the A or B side. Make sure that the north is facing away from you and your opponent. In other words, this game isn't COVID friendly. Unless, of course, one doesn't mind sitting on the other side, having the map faced the wrong way. Or alternately, have the west oriented orientation of the map face one player and the east orientation towards the second player. Really, it's all up to your preference. Once you're getting comfy with the orientation of your map and seating arrangement, do another friendly competition to see who goes first. The person to go first puts his mask cap through dice or other item you like to visualize your travel on the map. Play one should put their top marker on the west start space. Here. Uh, so, uh, the second player does the same, but puts their mask on the east start space. After the first hours of arguing, because they didn't get to play the red one, stop the shuffling, the mission and challenge takes. Uh, when these sticks are done, place them at their corresponding spots according to the playmat. When that's done, you are almost ready to go. Shuffle game action, card deck, and then shuffle your try to it master. Observe, don't shuffle into your tower cards, but you to it. Try the great mask cards instead put it in front of you or at the agree spot with both players that are visible to all players. And that's it. Now you set up the game. Easy, huh? Now back to the real rules. You start the game with no cards. To draw a card you have to land on either a game action space, aka orange spaces, a mission space, aka green ones, or a lit one, which are the shadow spaces. If you land on any of these spaces, you draw a card from the deck, the corresponding type. But wait to see it loaded. How do you get there, you ask? Well, by tediously moving one space per turn, either horizontally or vertically, not the diagonal that's forbidden in witchcraft. Play one moves first, and then play two turn, and so on. Now you know how to move, but there's still some card types that need to explain. There are five main card types. Game action, mission, great mask, great mask, turaga, and tower cards. Game action cards. Every player has each a 20 card game action deck. Game action cards can, uh, has one time use effect, unless stated otherwise. Most effects are beneficial to you, or the disadvantage for your opponent. Disadvantage used for your opponent. Game action cards can be played at any time. You can't have more than five game action cards in your hand unless the card states otherwise. To draw a new game action card, you need to land on a game action space. When a game action deck is depleted, reshuffle the discard pile. Mission cards. A game consists of a 14 card mission deck. Mission cards are obstacles you need to complete before you can do anything else. Usually a mission rule resolves immediately. However, there are some exceptions, like cards 7, 8, 12, 
11, 19, 141, 197, 198, 245, 246, 37, 38, and 310. You get a mission card by landing on the mission space on the game map. When your mission deck is depleted, reshuffle the discard pile. Great Mask Challenges. The Great Mask Challenge deck contains six cards. When you a Great Mask the Challenge, let you draw a card from the Great Mask Draw deck. In a tie, the person initiating the challenge wins. If your opponent wins a challenge you initiated, they won't get to draw a card, and vice versa. You win a great match challenge by having a higher school and skill presented on the challenge card. You can only draw a great match challenge if you land on the challenge space. When a great match challenge deck is depleted, reshuffle the discard pile. Uh, great Mass Draw Cards. A Great Mass Draw your deck consists of 10 cards, 6 Great Mass Cards and 3 Draw Cards. Great Mass Cards grant you more points to your skills. The skills vary between masks. The Draw Card only give different effects. One gives you 110 skill, and now lets you walk 2 spaces instead of 1, and the last one lets you draw 2 game action cards instead of 1. You need 6 Great Mass Cards to win the game. For a short game, you only need 3 Great Mass Cards to win. Some Great Mass cards give 200 to the given skill, unlike the standard, which only gives 100 to the given skill. Two cards. Two cards are the cards depicted depicting the character you are playing. Your draw card has individual points in skills, flight, shielding, speed, street, swinging, and vision. The two skills points are ranked from 100 to 1000, and they can't exceed 1000. To your toy, you can attach a Great Mask card and a Thrive card. Uh, great Mask cards and Mask Thrive cards are put near you, your Toa face up, see picture. Before we dive into the demo game, there is one more space and a special rule for certain spaces that I need to go over first. First of the last space is called a portal space. When you land on these bad boys you may yeet yourself across the map to another portal spot. There are also some spaces that have two circles on them. If you land on any of these spaces, you get double the result. For example, if you land on a great mask challenge space with two circles, you get to draw and attempt two challenges. Let's play a test round. For this test board, I'm going to play the demo round from Pardo and Gallaudet, featured in the rulebook, to demonstrate how the game is played. Player 1 moves one space to the west. Player 2 moves one space to the east. Player 1 moves one space to the north. Player 2 moves one space to the east. Player 1 moves one space to the north. Player 1 lands on a game action space and gets to draw a card from his her game action deck. He or she gets card 27 and puts it into his her hand. Player 2 moves one space to the north. Player 2 lands on a game action space and draws a card from his her game action deck. He or she draws a card 21 and puts it into his her hand. Player one moves one space to the east. Player two moves one space to the south. Player one moves one space to the north. And player 2 moves one space to the east. Player 1 moves one space to the east. Player 1 lands on a challenge space and draws a challenge card 4. The challenge is strength. Both players should strip points in strength. Player 1 has 800 and player 2 has 500. This means player 1 wins. He or she draws a card from his. Great Master Rider deck. 
Ishii gets called 86. Can we have play one? Then a quiz is her. Can we have the mascot is put under the tour card with the rolls sticking out? Then the challenge card gets put into the dis challenge card discard pile. Play two. Place card twenty one and gives up his her turn. To move play one skin piece. One space after playing the uh, one space. After playing the card, uh, it gets put in his her game action discard pile. Play one lands on a mission space and has to draw a mission card from the mission card deck. Here she draws cards fifteen and has to walk three spaces to the east. He does this and completes completes the mission. The mission is put into the division discard pile. Play two's turn is over because he she played card twenty one. Play one then moves one space to the west. Play 2 moves one space to the east. Yeah, play 2 lands on a challenge space and draws challenge card 2. The challenge is shielding. Both players check their points in shielding. Player 1 has 800 and player 2 has 600. This means player 1 wins. This time, player 1 is not allowed to draw a great mask to draw a card because it's player 2 who initiates the challenge. Then the challenge card gets put, in, put into the challenge card discard pile. Play continues in this manner until a player has collected all their great masks. And that's it. That is how you play. Um, Biological Quest for the Masks, a trading card game. If you are interested to learn more about this game, uh, please check out our Discord. And thank you for watching.